Ultra Instinct Goku trailer. Let's fucking do this shit. A journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step. Let's get it. Bro, look, we're not even going to go ahead and give you much. The introduction was there. That's all. I put the intro there because I had to put the intro. But that's about it. We are hopping into this preview, this trailer, this whatever the hell this is. Because I am telling you right now that this shit right here is going to be lit. Here we go. Without further ado, let's get this party rolling. Here we go. All right. Now... Uh, we know that this is an instrumental thing, so this is showing like all the characters that were like Universe 7. I know. Uh, you see this shit? Seriously? And he JoJo posed hella hard. E Jojo pulls too hard on that shit. <laughs> Here we go. Shimono Cut! You know, I saw this part, which is not. This, this is the cinematic trailer. Uh, the, the dramatic finish. The trust me, is nothing in the face of my power. You lose an Enzo. You did. This is crazy. Holy fuck. Holy fuck nuts. Did y'all see this shit? That can't be his actual thing. That it shows all those Kamehameha waves. Like that. If that is the actual thing. Wow. Texas. Wow. This is what it means to be a fan of overall Dragon Ball gaming. When you don't pick sides in Dragon Ball gaming, when you don't have sides to pick from, when you play all aspects of Dragon Ball gaming, whether it's Xenoverse 2, whether it's Fighters, whether it's Legends, whether it's Dokkan, whether it's trading card games or anything out there that's Dragon Ball related, it, when you don't pick sides, you just enjoy the content that much better. That's the thing. So when I sit here today doing this trailer reaction with you guys, this is bliss to me. Dragon Ball Gaming has come a long way. If y'all fail to understand how long of a way Dragon Ball Gaming has come, what we saw on screen right now, it's a culmination of everything that we know in 2D aspecting of Dragon Ball gaming. Fighters is the shit. Xenoverse is the shit. Kakarot is the shit. But we also have to give and admit where each developer does their job. And in this case, Arxis has done their fucking job. Every single DLC has been smack dab on point. And if people hate on the DLC, it's after it comes out. Because when Janemba was released, which is one of the DLCs that a lot of people were not really too big and keen about. But then he got released, people actually enjoyed the way Janemba looked and played or whatever. Even though he became a weak tier and all that stuff. But Kevlar got released. Kevlar was thoroughly enjoyed you know kid goku was thoroughly enjoyed jiren was thoroughly enjoyed when he first came out now we have ultra instinct goku ultra instinct goku coming may 22nd that's this weekend coming up 
make sure you get your season pass because if you have your season pass that means that by tuesday and wednesday you should be able to play it on the ps4 if you have it the season pass on the pc you may be able to play it earlier who knows but that is it that is all i got for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit the follow make sure you hit the sub make sure you come through twitch.tv forward slash dbgtx for the live reaction content and keep coming on through and showing the love for dragon ball overall anime gaming content with your boy dbgtx over and out